Okay, with your boys, Cass and Dom. All right, guys, today we've got something a little different for you. It's a little double bubble. All right, we got JP up against Global. Both of them points events, both of them 600,000. But you decide who's got the better stuff. All right, you guys can decide in the comments at the end of the video. You can put down hashtag JP or hashtag Global. You decide, all right? Let's take a look at the JP first. What do you get on the JP? All right, let's take a look at the characters that are available. You can, all right, through the points event, you can get four star Grim Gel and four star Noitora. All right, those two will be available for you to get. Uh, but they're only through points, guys. You cannot get them through lot rewards. Uh -uh, it's not happening. That's the only drop that you can get during the points event. But through lot rewards. Um, let me go ahead and break that down for you. All right, at 10,000, you get your first four-star character. At 20,000, your second. And uh, then we look at the lot rewards themselves. You get a three-star Gin, three-star Kaname, two-star Old Kiora, and the one thing that may clinch it for JP is the power hearts. Um, so you can put size accessories, max them out, and get yourself some chappies, some headbands, some double traits. That really does help on JP on every event. They're doing those, those hearts, they're giving them away. And on Global, they're not getting that. So that's a big problem. Not only that, um, on... Uh, let me go ahead and click on the rewards for you so you guys can take a look. And see how much of a difference there really is. But on uh, on JP, you get about 2,500 uh, points per very hard mode. Per hard mode. So let's take a look at the rewards. We're going to scroll through them real quick. There's your three star characters. There's your four star Grim Jow. You got your Kaname, you got your tickets with your um, uh, Noitora, you got your Okiora. You get a few points as well. Alright. There we go. Alright, you got some more. Um, you got you got Spirit Orb, which is always good. You got your, your, your hearts right there, guys. Hearts are right there. Look at that. Two star hearts as well, guys. Two star hearts. What? This is what we need on Global. This is what you need on Global too. You can't max your accessories out. We're stuck with accessories. Unless you don't put accessories in accessories, which is a waste, and it costs you more. All right, take a look at that. You get um, uh, accessory summon tickets. You get a whole Gyoku pretty, pretty early. You get your ex you get more accessory tickets. Three star hearts as well, guys. Wow. Could this be the clincher for JP? Look at that. Three star hearts, brave soul tickets. Let's go on to the last page and see how much they rub it in even more. All right, tickets, brave soul tickets, and the twenty spirit orbs at the end. So breaking it down for you, you get two four-star characters on the during points. Um, you get two three-star characters during a lot reward. You get your two-star old Kiora. You get your power hearts, um, and you get two and a half thousand points per hard mode. Okay, you do hard mode, you get two and a half thousand points. Let's flip it over and take a look at global. So global, we got Visored Film Festival. I love that film festival. All right, who you got on top? Oh, you got Mashiro, you got Kensei as well. Let's take a look at this. All right, reward characters, Kensei and Mashiro Kika. All right, let's take, take a look at the um, soul traits. Um, you got normal attack damage, plus 16. Wow, that's not bad. Plus 16, that is pretty good. Kensei is the keeper. All right, you got Mashiro, uh, dodge rate plus nine. Um, Aizen, you could use a Bayeki, but you know what? Uh, dodge rate plus nine isn't so bad. But the good thing, guys, all right, here's your rewards right there. During the points, you can get four star Kensei, you can get the four to five star summon ticket, you get the Hogyaku spirit orbs. But what makes this more interesting is that because JP are doing those power hearts, a lot of rewards for this time round is Mashiro. This is, I think, the, the difference between the two right now is you can you can farm four star Mashiros for your new five star characters. That's the only reason I'll be really be doing it is because to farm the characters. Four star characters are so important to farm in order to max out your five stars. Let's take a now. Finally, finally, guys, I know JP they get soul tickets as well, but finally on global after the million points they give you soul tickets. Okay, um, that million points without soul tickets was a grind. I didn't finish it. All right, it was near. I was doing so many things I could not finish this, but now they finally give you soul tickets, meaning you don't have to wait 15 minutes for a respawn. Uh, you, you can get one straight away, which is good. All right, you got coins, stamina crystals, same, same old, same old. All right. Um, okay, on this one, uh, your points they average between 2,000 and um, uh, 2,400, I think. 
So the points, J JP maybe just have a, just a slight edge over that. But the biggest difference um, between the two is most probably gonna be um, the Power Hearts versus a four star character. Which one would you guys have? So if you vote JP, that means you'd rather have those um, uh, the Power Hearts to put into your accessories. Or would you want Global so you can farm the Mashiro's? Which one would you guys prefer? Let us know in the comment section, but let's take a look at through the rewards. Yes, yes, I know we already completed that. All right, you got your you got your three star Shinji. Um, you also get um, you get your three star characters, guys. You get your Kensei, you get your Shinji again. Shinji is very common now. He, he pops up everywhere. Oh, you get Spirit Orb, accessory tickets. Same same stuff. Uh, where's the Hogyoku? The, the Hogyoku got to be early because JP give you the Hogyoku quite early. Um, you got okay, you got the mutable ball as well, guys. Okay. Immutable ball, which I have never used. Four to five star summon ticket, which is always sweet. Um, let's keep going. All right, you got EXP crystal, you got large stamina crystals, tickets, Kensei, spirit orbs, Hogyoku. All right, about the same time you get a Hogyoku as well, which is good. More tickets here. You got your Brave Soul summon ticket. I mean, everything else looks about the same. Uh, it would be nice at the end if they gave us a little bit more. I mean, if. if if they said they gave 50 spirit orbs at the end, I probably would jump onto that event. Um, but they give you 20 and it makes you think, you know, it's, it's a big grind. We're going to get it done. 600,000 is not hard. You get 20 spirit orbs at the end. Um, five spirit orbs right there. But hey, 20 isn't so bad, but 50 would have made it definite. 100% must do what complete in one day. Honestly, I would seriously set out 24 hours and try and complete it. All right, guys, you guys decide for yourselves which one would you prefer. Hashtag JP. Hashtag global and which one would you rather be grinding on right now? Let us know in the comment section below the hype from we get to is real It's gonna happen tomorrow. Make sure you are there cuz it's gonna be lit on Twitch With your boys Cass and Dom check out the check out the link in the description below go ahead and click it follow your boys We're gonna go crazy spin nuts Nuts guys, it's over 5,000 spirit orbs. It's gonna be crazy. Make sure you're there. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys um, leave a feedback uh, down below. Let us know which one you guys prefer. Uh, while you're on your way out, go and hit that like button please. We do appreciate that. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's your boy Dom. He's not here right now. This is your boy Cass. We're out.